How do I create a new brush face in geometry mode in Unreal Editor? Well, if you're working with geometry mode, uh, when performing a variety of different functions, you may find that one of your brush's faces just magically gets deleted, or you might have deleted one and not, might need to know how to create one. And it's not an obvious thing. It's not like right in front of you, there's a button that says, here, fix this hole in your brush. So we're going to take a moment and show you how that's done. I'm going to select the little box brush that we have in front of us. Please note, I have selected it through its wireframe, not by trying to click on any one of the surfaces in perspective. We'll pop into geometry mode. And I'll start off here in poly mode, but it's only so I can delete a face. If you've already got a face that's missing, then you won't need to uh, actually perform this step. I'll jump into uh, the geometry modifiers window, select one of the faces, we'll just pick on this guy here on top, and just click delete. Now let's get out of our uh, geometry modifiers window, and I'll rebuild everything. So now you can see we are missing a face, uh, shown here in that part of our brush is kind of invisible as we rotate around it and here's how I'm gonna we're gonna show that off I'm gonna hold down L and we'll rotate around it in Maya style so you can see that we are missing some part of that brush now to put it back we don't actually use poly selection mode we have to jump over to vertex selection mode which is why this is not the most intuitive thing in the world but uh, it's still very easy to do what I'm gonna do is open up the modifier window again to get my geometry modifiers and we need to make a selection of all of the vertices around the hole. So we'll select one of these, hold down control, and notice I am clicking in a clockwise direction. That's important. A clockwise selection will make the normal point toward you. A counterclockwise direction will make the normal point away from you. Remember that. So now that I've selected all of these, I can click Create. And at first, it looks like nothing happens. You will at least need to rebuild your geometry. And as soon as we've done that, we can now see that I have created a new uh, polygonal face. Now, this has the default null material applied to it because I didn't have a material selected over in the generic browser. If for some reason uh, you had something selected, whatever material selected will appear on this new face. So there we've created something. Now, I do want to show this. Uh, let me jump back over to poly mode. I'll select this guy on top and delete him one more time. And let's rebuild everything to make him go away. So there we go, we can see that we're missing a face. We'll jump back into vertex mode and I'm going to select in the opposite direction now. Just in case you do this by accident. And we'll click create and rebuild. And at first it looks like nothing happened. As a matter of fact, if we rotate around this guy, let's zoom in. You'll notice it still looks like we're, we're missing a face, but if we zoom inside and look up, you'll notice there's actually a face here. It's just facing the wrong direction. The normal is actually pointed inside the object, and because all polygons inside of Unreal are one-sided by default, we don't see anything. So if you need to fix this, you gotta pop back over to poly mode. You need to fix to select that face. So we gotta stick our head actually inside the geometry, look up, and select that polygon. And then here inside the geometry modifiers window, we can click flip and that will flip that around. So let's go ahead and rebuild our geometry and lighting. We can get out of geometry mode altogether now and we have replaced that face. So there's a quick look at creating faces and some of the things that you can run into uh, when doing it. And that wraps up this how do I video.